All right. Um, this is going to be a quick review of the Five Joy RS shovel. Oh, hopefully it's going to be rather quick. Um, I tried a couple of different shovels from Amazon, and I returned all of them except this one. Um, I This one is so far above and beyond the others that it's definitely worth the extra price compared to those. Um, let's start with the shovel itself. And I'm not going to show the head just yet, but this mechanism that they have is quite ingenious. It uses a spring-loaded system and wedges itself inside this metal, making it nearly impossible to move um, without pulling this out, which is not going to happen by hitting it or any other means. You really actually have to physically pull this out. Um, and it makes it, it's also quite easy to do. I can do it with two fingers. As you can see, it's kind of like a, kind of fun, kind of like a Benchmade. Just want to flick it open. I mean, it's the, this is definitely the Benchmade of the shovel world right now, as far as I can tell. Now, somebody could come up with something better, but I have never not seen anything so far that compares in quality and durability. Uh, the mechanism is very, very strong, um, and they really back up their product. Now, let's talk about the head for just a second. It comes in this really nice sheath. That is, it's very durable inside, so it's the, the sharp edges are not going to cut this, which is great. And as you can see, unlike a lot of the folding shovels, there's nothing fancy on the outside of this. It is a shovel. It is, however, sharpened on the left side. And this is very important because when you are hacking with this, and it's not an axe, but it is, does work rather, rather like a machete or a small hatchet and you're going to want to always use the left side because when you have the handle in it the way it screws in you want the pressure to force it into position not out of position in other words you don't want to have to continually tighten your handles when you're trying to hack with this and this, they were smart enough to put the blade on the proper side for this. Now, it's not to say that this side can't be made sharp and you can use it, but as I explained, you're not going to want to because it's going to loosen every time you hit something with it. So that was very clever, um, and it is quite a solid piece of steel. A lot of people have already put it through its durability tests, and it really passed with flying colors from their estimation. And I would have to agree, compared to the other ones I looked at, this is significantly heftier than those. Um, then let's go on to the other piece that comes with the shovel. Now this actually came with two covers, one in each, but I took the other one off. Um, it comes with a blade. It's not a great blade. It is sharp. Um, and unfortunately it also comes with a bottle opener, which frankly I can't imagine anywhere where I'd want, oh let me go to my car and get the bottle opener out of my shovel. Don't be that guy. If you can't open a bottle, you know, with whatever you have on you, heck, you, all you need is an O-ring from a key and you can open a bottle, okay? Or any key, for that matter. It's not hard to open a bottle, guys. Please stop putting bottle openers on to actual tools. It's really very embarrassing. Um, my recommendation is actually to remove this blade entirely and to not carry it with you. It's actually really heavy, surprisingly, um, and it's not very useful. Um, I'll get into why in just a second. Now, it does have a really great back end piece that contains a ferro serum rod and a whistle. This unscrews, showing the whistle. I'm not going to blow it, but trust me, it's loud. I did also test the ferro serum rod, and it works great. Um, so there's that. So this goes in this piece right here. And so you have some basic survival necessities with the knife and with the ferro serum rod. Now, I actually splurged and got the additional links, and I highly recommend them. It's going to make it a much more useful tool. And it's also going to provide some additional storage. In this one, I've actually put paracord in that I can pull this out, and it will feed directly from there. I would probably not have done that, and I probably will change it out for much thinner cordage. I think I'd rather have more length than 
than what I have here. Um, and the other one is where I keep a knife. And this is an open L um, that I've modified a little bit to make sure that it fits. And the length is actually perfect. And the reason is this. Once there's a thicker, or I should say a smaller diameter section on this side, forces that forces the knife to stop right there. When you screw this in, no movement whatsoever. The exact length of that knife is perfect. It actually mashes up with the back of this piece right, or the front, I should say, of this piece right here, and nothing moves. No shaking, very little, very little, only side to side. It's exactly the right length, which is surprising. It's almost like they made it that way on purpose. That was the two mods I made so far. The other thing I would highly recommend is take off this really, really terrible handle. It just rotates and slips, and God forbid you get an injury because of it. I would highly recommend taking either a 3-inch or 2-inch Gorilla duct tape, and I do mean Gorilla duct tape, off and putting it on here. Um, you can get two full 2-inch two rolls if you start all the way at the edge and roll back from there. Or you can get one three inch roll on here. I don't know, it's up to your preference. You could also probably do the three the three inch and where is it? Um what are they half inch as well? That would probably work even better. Maybe you could see that. You could definitely fit that, and that's almost about perfect. Probably what I would do, just because it will make it a little easier. So that's what I that's where I would start. And then um there are other mods you can do. If you're taking this blade out, you're probably going to want to put something in this section here. I would say a fishing kit would probably be a pretty good idea. Some hooks, some line, um, maybe snares. I don't know. It all depends on how survival you want to make it or how, you know, if you want to make it better for a car. Like another wonderful thing that I would probably keep in there, which I think is even more important, is a flashlight. Uh, it would be quite easy to get a flashlight in here, make sure it's the right dimension, and uh, have it so you have a flashlight, a knife, some cordage, and a fire starting capable system in one. Uh, that would be very good. And it weighs about, with the extension, weighs about three pounds. And that's a lot. If you take this out, it's a little bit less, but well, well worth the weight as far as what it can do. Um, in some ways, this is going to be more useful for a car than an, than an axe or a saw. Um, you're going to get more issues where you can't get out of somewhere, like whether it's snow or mud. And this is actually going to do something that neither of those two tools can do. A shovel is very useful by itself, and that's where this really shines. It's a bigger head than most of the other tools out there, and that really benefits it as well. Um, well, so that's, that's it for this. Um, the... The bags, this can definitely hold all the components. Let's just quickly put it all back together here. So this would go in to one of these slots here. And there's plenty of space also for additional supplies inside this particular slot. You have a main pouch, and then you have an additional slot over here. It's funny because it doesn't look like it quite fits too, but it does. They both fit. You slide it in there like that. There you go. And this goes in there, like so. And these are all molly capable, which is very cool. That is as well. Close it all the way up so it's like that. And then it slides in, like so. Of course, I've oh, caught it. Goes in nicely. And it does come with a strap as well. But I'm not sure you really want to use it, it's up to you. And then it clips. And even the whole thing can go on. I'm not sure you'd ever want to put it on your waist, but you can certainly put it on the back of a backpack. And there's definitely many times where a shovel you're going to want to carry. And if you're going to carry a shovel, this one's great for what it does. Um, it has a lot of internal storage, and it, it has the potential to be a, a one-time single-use item that can do quite a bit for emergency situations with the right internals. Um, and that's really up to you. There's a lot of extra storage in this bag, in this slot here. There's some storage, in fact, in the main pouch with next to the 
next to the shovel as well on either side. And I would highly recommend this um, to anyone. I've checked them all. A lot of them do uh, have some similar features, but it's funny. The one thing that none of them have that's really a big deal is this these nice carry pouches. This is an incredible pouch compared to the other ones. It even has got little holes to allow it drainage if water gets in. So very, very well thought out. I'm very impressed. And this is by 5Joy. This is the RS model. Um, very impressed. Highly recommended. All right, and that's going to be it.